Hi, this is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, March 2nd, through this coming Sunday, March 8th, 2015. And our topic for this week is love, being guided by love. So as you start each and every day, please set the intention with your counsel, with those loving spirit guides and angels that surround you all the time. Set the intention that all that you do, all that you are, all that you have, and all that you create, that this be done in the name of love. And by beginning your day with this connection, and thanking your counsel for helping you to completely set your day up so that it is guided by love. You are setting in motion the perfect energy for everything and everyone to flow around you. This beautiful energetic flow of love that's going to allow everything to happen in the most positive outcome for your highest behalf. And then as you go through your day, keep checking in with that intention of being guided by love. As you encounter the emotions and the circumstances and the events that are happening around you. And please be mindful to send any person or situation that you are dealing with or thinking about loving energy. And you can do this by visualizing them or visualizing the situation as being completely immersed in healing, loving, divine white light. See and feel as this light bathes them and cocoons them in protective love. This is such an effective process that's going to allow you some space and healing and clarity and ease around anything that you may find stressful in your life. Taking a moment to place this loving energy around all that concerns you is going to give you perspective. And it's going to open up the energetic flow for everything to come together in the most positive way possible. Love is always the answer. So any anger or overanalyzing or you know, wanting revenge or judgmental biases or fear or panic, these are all energy that's going to shut everything down and they're never ever going to serve you. So instead, start practicing being guided by love in all that you do to enable your alignment to perfect happiness. It's going to serve you in every way. And I love that the deck chosen for us this week is one that's very, very love-centered. This is the Gaia Oracle of Guidance, Affirmations, and Transformation. It's by Tony Carmine Salerno. And a beautiful deck. I've chosen... Our cards, we've got the top row, which is money, the middle row, which is your success for this week, and the bottom row, which is your well-being. And I'm going to use the little guidebook a bit this week when I see what cards we've gotten, because I'm going to read you the affirmations that I think are perfectly beautiful that Tony has written after we've discussed the cards. And I also want to point out for you that every week with every Oracle card deck I use, they all come with a guidebook. So if you happen to have these cards at home, you can use your guidebook and look the cards up and get more meaning and depth for our readings if you so choose. So here's the money row. I'm going to lay these out and then I'm going to talk about each one in detail to give you a complete reading for the week. And... I love it because I was talking about love and this first card that we have is a six. And to me, when I encounter six, that's faith, that's trust, and it's love. 
And this card, this is called The Search. And it's on our money row. So how this plays out is this is a card about seasons to me. It's about this cycle of the four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And to me, this particular card, it stands for winter. So things may not seem to be growing. They may seem slow around you and your money energy at this time. Please understand that this is temporary. This energy is going to pick up for you. And spring always follows winter. New growth always follows this dormant period. And allow these new cycles. Allow new ideas, new opportunities. See that she's looking ahead. And behind her is this beautiful sun. And she may not have noticed it yet. But this shows that new growth is coming for you. New opportunities are coming for you. And if things seem a little bit slow right now, that's only temporary. Things are growing. So to give you a little added um, depth for this, I'm going to read the affirmation, which says, All is well in my life. I give thanks for the changing seasons. In solitude, I grow stronger and wiser. My mind is clear. My heart is open. I am always on the right path. Beautiful, beautiful affirmation for this money energy and this card of the search. And next for our money row, we have harmony. I love this. This is a card of power. This is a card of using, see, self-confidence, and it leads to productivity. Allow your self-confidence to serve you. Um, and make your power loving and harmonious, not too heavy, not too dominant. It's safe to be powerful, but use it in loving ways. This is a card of good fortune, so it's perfect for this money row. It's the card of growth, and it's the card of gaining new knowledge to me, gaining knowledge that allows for growth. So, and also... With the harmony, it's pay attention to your thoughts. Make sure that your thoughts are in alignment with all that you wish to create. Make sure there's no resistance or thoughts of lack about bringing money into your life. Um, it's harmonizing your inner world with your outer world because this is going to open doors for you. This is going to allow abundance. And... Um, it's a three. <laughs> the little numbers are here at the top. They're a little bit hard to see. But this card is a number three. And for me, three is expansion. So I love that for our money row. Expansion. And the affirmation for this card is, I am one with the forces of nature. I am one with the earth and all of creation. I use my power wisely and to great effect. I create harmony in my life through love and acceptance, and I achieve my goals with ease. That is perfect energy for us for this week for the money row. And now our third card on the money row is the goddess of creation. This is pulling directly off that harmony card. Because to me, this is a card of balance. It's the balance of allowing relaxation and meditation in your life to give you harmony. It's also going to give you transformation, creativity, and wholeness. And this, you know, they want you to relax both physically and mentally. And allow new ideas and creativity that's going to come from this relaxation, because it's going to come from getting out of your own way. These new ideas and creativity, they're going to open the paths of inspiration for you. They're going to allow you more abundance and more prosperity in your life. So please use this week to take care of yourself, to you know put your needs first. And this is also the card of lightening up, laughing, 
allowing your personal energy to be re revitalized. And they're showing me this sense of humor also goes back to your power. If you use your power lovingly and with a sense of humor, then things are going to come to you more easily. So the affirmation for number seven, the goddess of creation, is I take time each day to relax. I take time each day to nurture my spirit. I connect spiritually to a space of love inside my heart. I find peace within. I am light. I am love. Beautiful, beautiful message. And it's a seven. Seven to me is introspection. So going within. Beautiful energy for your money. And now we're moving on to your success row. And we're starting with lost love. Very interesting to point out for you for success. That this is about honoring the things that happen in your life. These things happen with love and allow your feelings. Allow whatever it is that you need to surrender and release for healing. Allow it to flow through you and out of you. Don't hang on to it. Don't bury it deep within. And realize that nothing is random. And with time, you're going to understand the greater meaning of love in your life and the things that have happened. And please, they're very much emphasizing, please understand that you are surrounded by an ocean of love. She's laying in the water. She's laying in all those emotions. And there's the moon healing her. You are surrounded by an ocean of love. So please allow yourself to accept this love without question. Just realize it's there. Just trust in its energy that everything's okay. Know that everything is lovingly falling into place for your success and for your happiness. Nothing is random. So it's all going to be okay. And let's see what the affirmation for 35. We've got... All I experience in life has a purpose and is meaningful. Everything is part of a higher plan. Every experience expands my understanding and appreciation of love. The truth is what is. The truth is what was. The truth is what will be. Beautiful for your success. Lovely, lovely success energy. And the second rook card we have for the success row is rising above. <laughs> this is rising above things to see them from a better perspective. Opening up those higher perspectives for you around the things that you need to understand for your success. This is also about losing that story. And, you know, not emotionally bogging yourself down in these repetitive thoughts of what you fear is going to go wrong. Those thoughts actually have no basis in reality of what's actually happening around you. But we get bogged down emotionally. So this is about disconnecting emotionally from your concerns. And, you know, I'm always telling people, just stop. Stop. Stop right there. Lose the story. Stop thinking and ruminating upon things. And when you are too involved, you know, emotionally, it means you're too close to it. You're never going to find the solution when you're trying to, you know, hammer out all those stories. And you know what? The solution is always simple. It's very, very simple. So going back to this goddess of creation... Allow yourself some downtime. Relax, meditate, surrender. It's coming to me again. We're going back to the card before this. Surrender and release whatever the emotions are that you need to let go of. This is, you know, go for a walk, divert your attention by doing something that you enjoy and detached because then the answers are going to flow for you. These simple solutions are going to become obvious for you when you can just rise above, get a new perspective on those emotions. 
So let's look this up. This is 11, which is a divine number. I love it. And the affirmation for this card is, I surrender this situation to the universal power of love. I trust that all is well in my life. I look at my life from a higher perspective. I am divinely guided. All is clear in my life. I am safe. So beautiful affirmation for your success for this week. And I can already tell we're going, we're going for more balance and harmony. The, this, the uh, theme for this week is not only love, but it's balance and harmony. These cards are all flowing together. This is yin, yin yang, creating harmony through balance. So um, this is lovingly accepting both sides of you. This is the positive and the negative that come together to create the complete whole circle that is you. And the negative parts of you are not bad. They're very worthwhile because every aspect of you gives you balance and it serves you in your life. So this is about unconditionally loving yourself without needing to change anything about you that is authentic. Your authentic soul imprint is how other people find you, how those things align with you that are trying to come into your life. You are a vibrational alignment for all those beautiful things that your soul wishes to create. So allowing all parts of you and acknowledging all parts of you is very, very important for this complete and total soul connection. So let's look this one up, number 40. And the affirmation for this card is, I love and accept all that I am. There is nothing to change. There is only love. Every aspect of me serves both me and others in some way. I create health, wealth, and harmony by loving what is. And I accept and love transformations to ever greater love. What a perfect affirmation for your complete success for this week. Absolutely beautiful energy. So with that, we're going to move on to our well-being row. And we're starting with Sacred Earth Mother. <laughs> an absolutely beautiful card because this is pure love this to me is the path to your heart it's a four and a two which again equals a six I, I always notice the numerology of things very important love and this card reminds you that you're not your personality and you're not your achievements you're not your ego and you're not your successes, and you're not your failures either. You're not these things that you might identify in your life as having gone wrong. These are all roles. These are all vehicles that your soul has chosen. And your true essence is that beautiful, eternal, infinite light of your soul that has always been and will always be, that spirit light of you and you are a spark of creativity and you have unlimited potential that's yearning to be expressed so please trust your heart and allow this potential that's your that's your destiny and allow love to guide all that you do and this is going to be your authentic expression of your soul self and it's going to allow you this complete connection to everything that you wish to create in your life. So let's look at this affirmation. I wish I had a better way to have these ready for you. All right, we have, I am in essence light. I am in essence soul. I am pure creative potential. I am guided by my heart. And I apply love and wisdom to all that I say and do. Sacred Earth Mother. Absolutely beautiful. 
well-being, complete well-being. So the second card on our well-being row is the hidden path. This to me is spiritual alchemy. And this is how much you've gained through all the knowledge and wisdom and experiences and lessons that you've had in your life. You have gained so much. And, you know, that doesn't mean that sometimes you don't know how to progress and you don't know which path to choose. And the way forward is to align that alchemical alignment of your physical mind with your soul spirit. And when you align your mind with your heart, everything's going to flow. And when you're making decisions with your heart, it's going to allow your mind to have the well-being that you need. And I love the symbolism on this card. This sun to me on the left is your bright future. This in the middle, this ankh, this is eternal life. And this eye of Horus, this is healing and protection. And this tree to me is the tree of life. And the roots, see the hearts, it's rooted in love. So a beautiful, beautiful message for your well-being about how much you've gained in life. And even if you don't know the way forward, you will if you go within. You will if you meld your mind and your heart together to allow them to bring you that perfect love that's going to show you your path, your way, your well-being. So the alignment, the uh, sorry, it's alignment, but it's also an affirmation for this card, number 34, Hidden Path, is my heart and mind are in perfect alignment. My heart's desire and my thoughts are one. I'm a spiritual being in a physical body. The journey ahead is filled with light. The light of my soul illuminates my path perfect perfect well-being message and then the last card for our well-being row <laughs> is freedom it's liberation it's no more emotional attachments that are not ser uh, serving you it's breaking free from negativity you know it's breaking free from those stories and those thoughts that you have that things are not working and this is going back again to this goddess creation card and this harmony card and the yin yang card of creating space in your life through going within, through meditation, through relaxing. And this is going to give you clarity. It's going to give you the understanding that you need. And very much to me, this is a card of clearing your energy. I feel every week we've been pulling cards about cutting cords and clearing energy. And this is in our well-being row for this week. Call in Archangel Michael. Cut those cords that are draining you. And these are things that have been attached to you by people or situations that you don't need any more. They don't need to be draining you. You don't need to be giving power away to them. And cut the cords. Allow that to be removed from you. Don't go in search of it, trying to, you know, figure out if you feel. Because a lot of time when energy's been cut, it will come. It'll feel that energetic disconnection. And it'll come and search for you again. So ask Archangel Michael another, you know, day or two later to cut those cords again to clear your energy. Allow yourself to be liberated from emotional attachments that are no longer serving you. And they're pointing out power again. It's safe to be in your power and strong in your, in your own knowing and use that for your own highest good. Freedom and liberation. And now your affirmation for this one is... I release myself from all negative attachment. I trust that this is for my highest good. I trust that this is for the highest good of all. I help others most by not allowing myself or them to be codependent. I look at every situation in a balanced way. 
Absolutely. Make your own decisions. Don't look for other people to make decisions for you. Don't give your power away. Allow your liberation and your freedom. So a very loving and beautiful reading for this week. Um, if you need any personal assistance or a reading about your own personal energy, please contact me. My website is spiritpathways.net. And all blessings for a wonderful week, and I look forward to next week. Bye-bye.